Hi, in this video I am going to explain how image scaling works. Let's say you have a 3 cross 3 pixels which you want to scale 3 times to 9 cross 9 pixels. I know it's not 9 cross 9, but I think it will do well to explain the concept. So let's say this 3 cross 3 pixels have value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So uh, when you scale it to 9 cross 9, what? how does it translate? Right. So there are multiple algorithms to do this. This way of uh, translating a pixel from the first matrix to the expanded matrix is called interpolation. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the first guess that I come up with is I just place this value, the first pixel value here. I leave three gaps. I don't know what to fill this in with. And then I'll put the next value. Okay, and again I'll leave three gaps and then I'll put the next value because I don't know what to fill in with this. I'm just stretching this uh, this matrix um, but I don't know what values to put this in right but this is very bad estimation so if you have really big image when you zoom it to a bigger scale you would just look a black image uh, it, it would just be a black image why because uh, the every other pixel which got elongated is just zero right so what is a better way of approximation open CV gives you option for choosing your interpolation method. One such option are nearest uh, neighbor. So what this says is, um, let me fill in this value as well, 3 and 2, right, and here it will be 5. So nearest neighbor for this pixel would be 1. Nearest neighbor for this pixel is 1 and 4. Let's say it takes 1. And then for this will be 4, right. So it fills in in this way. Uh, let's see the drawbacks of this a bit later. Uh, but for now, let's just look into the different kind of scaling options that OpenCV have. Um, the other kind of interpolation is um, the linear interpolation. So what does linear interpolation do is it uh, kind of takes the average. So if you look at this pixel, this pixel uh, is 33 percent it's um, 66 percent close to 1 and 33 percent close to 2 right so its value will be 1 into 66 plus 2 into 33 divided by 66 right so it kind of does the weighted average for each of the pixels that it needs to fill in um, but um, there's other kind of interpolation which is called a cubic inform interpolation so what this cubic does is instead of just seeing two pixels, it's going to smoothen this a bit more by considering the next pixel value as well, right? If um, let's say you're going to draw a curve like this, right? You're going to you're going to draw a line like this between this. Would you draw it like this or like this? So if you draw this, if the next pixel is increasing, you draw in downward direction when the next pixel is decreasing. So that's basically what a uh, cubic uh, interpolation does okay it does this with help of some complex mathematical functions like spline which we'll uh, talk about in the next um, video right okay good about um, the scaling up but how does image scale down work okay so let's say let's take that you have 5 cross 5 pixel uh, okay for simplicity let's take 4 cross 4 um, so you have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So when you want to scale down to 2 cross 2, you're scaling down by 2. So it's going to take every square, 2 cross 2 square, and just averages it out and puts that in the new matrix. Right. So average of uh, this is 6.5, average of this uh, would be 15, 
plus 7, 22, it's 10.5. So it takes the average and puts it into the, the new pixel. Uh, let's see how uh, this actually translates into OpenCV code in Python and we'll correlate our concepts with the result.